Hey guys, so today I am doing... I don't know what I'm saying. So about a week ago, Colourpop released their new crystal infused range. It's got like real crystals into, I think they did setting and priming sprays, liquid highlighters, and I feel like that's it. And I woke up at 5am because it was released at 10am in California time, I think it was. Um, yeah, which ended up being 5am here, which is really sad, but I was really committed to the course So I woke up and I bought the setting and priming sprays from Colourpop. Two of them are like dewy finishes and two of them are matte finishes. I'm gonna go for the matte ones today because I am going to the gym today. So if these hold up to the gym, then we'll know that they're really good. Hi! The box is really big compared to the bottle. <laughs> so here I've got the Amethyst Crystal Priming Spray. Directions of use, shake me gently, hold your arm length away, and spray. Cool. Okay, so I'm going to apply this, and then I'm going to go do my makeup, and then I'll do the setting spray for you guys, and then I'll come back later and tell you what the wear is like. Oh, no. It smells like, um, oh, it has a smell. This feels really weird. <laughs> Okay, so it's just about dry, so I'm gonna go do my makeup and then I'll come back to apply the setting spray. Whew. Okay, so I've just finished my makeup, as you can hopefully see. Hopefully I don't look the same as I did before. <laughs> Still ugly though. <laughs> I am myself. Okay, anyway. So basically when I was using the Amethyst Priming Spray, my makeup still went on the same. It still felt really nice. Like it didn't clog anywhere. Like it wasn't blot. Like, well, as I can tell so far, it has yeah, my makeup is applied quite nicely, about the same as usual. I'm not noticing a drastic difference. It did take a while to dry, which I did notice, but yeah, that's like what you're going to get with a spray. So now that I've finished, I just need to apply the Aventurine Crystal Setting Spray. <laughs> Derived from honey to give you a more matte looking finish. Shake, 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 shake it. Oh, I can like see it in the air. It smells the same. I feel like they almost smell the same. I feel like that definitely wasn't as dramatic as some of those like really like high-end beauty bloggers and they're like, I am not that person. <laughs> I'm like, oh. Okay, so it's just about dry. What I've noticed so far is that it hasn't like super matte. It's not like their ultra matte lip glosses. Like, you know, when you put them on and like your lips like shrivel up and like die inside. So now that I have primed and makeup and set my face, I now have to go to class and go to the gym because exercise. <laughs> if you gym now, you can eat later. That's the motto. All right. Okay. So I'll catch you guys later. Six and a half hours later. I'm back. Me and my flatmate went to a step fit class, which by the way, is really difficult. We went there, we were in the back, and then there were people like ad libbing, like they added their own little like dance moves in. And there was this one girl, and I thought that she was on drugs. She <laughs> was like, bounce, bounce, bounce. We've been back for probably like 10 minutes. My makeup is still very much intact, but I feel like together, both of the mattifying kind of qualities in them really kept me on because trust me I was like a waterfall. <laughs> yeah, Hannah's nodding because I was like a waterfall. It was a lot of sweat. Yeah. So all in all, the matte ones, Aventurine and Amethyst, so you're getting my tick of approval. <laughs> Hannah's just whispering in the background, they're so pretty. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not really one for packaging so I don't think it matters too much but it is nice when something is aesthetically pleasing. Maybe we should ask Anna what these crystals actually do. Our flatmate's like a crystal person oh, so I'll I want to know. Okay, so we're back and better than ever, and we have the crystal bible. <laughs> so I'm gonna let you all know what each of the things do. Oh, Aventurine's in here! It's Aventurine is a very positive stone of prosperity and is used to grid gardens or houses against geopathic stress. Amethyst, attribute. Amethyst is an extremely powerful and protective stone with a high spiritual vibration. It guards against psychic attack, transmuting the energy into love. Aww. Amazing. So end of day one with the matte primer <laughs> and setting spray in Amethyst and Aventurine. It worked really well. So tomorrow we'll be trying the one in Aquamarine, which is the setting spray, and Rose Quartz, which is the priming spray. Alright, so I will catch you guys tomorrow. The next day. Okay, so I am back today um, before I do my makeup and I'm going to be using the 
Rose Quartz Crystal Priming Spray, as you know, and the Aquamarine Crystal Setting Spray. Just remember, these are the ones that are supposed to give you a dewy kind of finish. Um, they're more recommended for people with dry skin. I do have oily skin, so I'm hoping that they don't go too crazy and just make my face look like it's just like constantly like wet. Oh, while we're here, I'll get the Crystal Bible back. Rose Quartz. Um, Rose Quartz is the stone of unconditional love and infinite peace. It is the most important crystal for the heart and the heart chakra, teaching the true essence of love. Yeah, so we'll see how this holds up today. So I'm just gonna go ahead and apply this and then I'll do my makeup and then I'll get back to you with this one. Okay, cool. So now that I've applied that, I'm going to go about my day and I will let you know how this is like holding up. I'm back so before I tell you how I feel about these like dewy kind of priming and setting sprays I realized I forgot to say what aquamarine what it's like what it's supposed to do as a crystal so once again crystal Bible and so aquamarine it is a stone of courage um, it's calming energies reduce stress and quiet the mind it was carried by sailors as a talisman against drowning that's actually makes sense it's like aquamarine aqua water sailors you know oh, duh. so about the rose quartz and aquamarine sitting in priming sprays my skin is quite dewy which I guess is the like the look they're really going for I feel like I'm not a huge fan of the feel of the kind of dewiness because it, it kind of mixes in with the oils already in my face and it just it doesn't feel like it settles properly to be fair though it has kept my makeup all day um, I've had a whole day of uni so it has lasted um, quite nicely I think just overall I'm not a big fan of anything that's got the word dewy in it um, obviously my makeup still went on the same it still looks like okay if I do say so myself I would definitely recommend getting it if you have dry skin overall my favorite ones out of the whole thing the amethyst and adventurine together are amazing it set my makeup throughout my time at the gym yesterday I couldn't feel anything on my face at all like it was just amazing and I loved it and I would 100% recommend these ones and I will definitely be purchasing these in the future when they run out they're really affordable as well I think I forgot to say they are six dollars US, which in New Zealand dollars I think is probably like nine dollars, eight or eight dollars something. I'm hoping that they'll come out with more in the future, or just continue to restock these ones because I do think they're really, really good, especially for the price. All right, so that is all for me with these ColourPop priming and setting sprays. I hope you enjoyed this video and you enjoyed learning about the crystals and what they're supposed to like infuse into your life. Yeah, but if you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. There'll be a button below. But that's it from me and I'll catch you guys next time. Thank you. Bye.